powered by Ford. Go further. Hey, what's up, guys? So you know it's best here. Now, last year, I demonstrated a new product called Liquid Pell on my iPhone. And this is supposed to make your iPhone water resistant, or I think they even use the words waterproof. Now, if you watch that review, you can tell that the results really didn't turn out that great. My phone, well, at least the screen stopped working. The phone itself will still work, uh, but the screen stopped working. It was a pretty expensive repair process for it. So basically, the product didn't work. But Liquid Pell is back here at CES 2013 here in Vegas, and they have their booth open, and they are showing off Liquid Pell 2.0 which is supposed to be a hundred times more effective than the previous version that I used last year. And so this new version of Liquipel has a water resistance level of IPX7, which means that it should be able to be submerged up to 30 minutes in up to a meter of water. So I'm definitely going to test that out. And so the way Liquipel works is that you ship your device to them and they go through this process where they dip the phone and this liquid and stuff. And it coats everything on the outside and on the inside of the device with this nano coating that is supposed to make it water resistant. And they also announced their liquid pods, which is going to allow companies to actually rent these 4x4 boxes that... Um, kind of you know provides the same service that they do but companies can rent this out and now waterproof their their employees devices if they wanted to which i think is a nice idea and another thing that they announced here at CES, which I'm pretty excited for, is their Liquid Pell Performance Guarantee, which is kind of like a warranty. So it's going to protect your device for accidental liquid exposure. So if you do get this Liquid Pell coating on your phone and you accidentally drop it in the toilet, in the sink, or you walk it in the rain and get raindrops exposure and it fails, Liquid Pell is supposed to be able to take care of you. Now, now they have more details about this when it launches the first quarter of this year. And also, too, it's just going to be U.S. only at the start, but they are planning to bring this to other countries as well. And so all in all, guys, I'm pretty excited for Liquid Pell 2.0. So they can really deliver on this promise of being 100 times more effective and also throwing in this Liquipel performance guarantee, which is not going to protect me against my review when I actually test this out. It's only against accidental exposure. They may make that very clear. Um, I think this is going to be a really good product. Now, it starts off at 60 bucks to get your phone coated with this nano coating or get your device coated with this, and it goes up depending on um, the device. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video on Liquipel 2.0. I'll be back with more coverage of CES 2013 here very shortly. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace, and now I sponsor Ford. What is up, guys? I'm here at the Ford booth for CES 2013. Here with my man Edward. How's it going, hey, man? How's it going? Good. And we're about to talk about Sync and the TDK that they have, so it helps developers make applications for their cars. Now, what was the whole process and thinking behind making this for developers? Uh, making this, um, basically, we want more developers in the vehicle. We want people to start creating some really unique, interesting applications. You know, instead of just you know internet radio or you know other type of maybe navigation apps. We want people to really think outside the box, so to speak, um, and create something you know awesome for the vehicle. So this is what you send to developers. Can you give us a quick little yep. walkthrough about what this is? Yep, this is basically uh, the in-car experience. You have your screen on the top. Um, you have the center stack with all the necessary buttons, um, as well as some of the vehicle simulation buttons. Um, you can turn the car off and on, open doors. Um, you can tell it or make it simulate um, like the car is moving forward or going in reverse, you know, different um, aspects of that way. And to allow you to make applications for Android and iOS. So right. Yep. Cover the two major platforms. Yep, that's always a good thing. Yep, always absolutely. a good thing. Well, thanks ever, man, oh, for stopping you. by and let us know about this. And I want to thank you guys for watching this CES 2013 coverage that is powered by Ford. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.